Hey everybody, it's Marian, and uh, you might have noticed that I have recently put out a quiche short. And so this video right now, I'm going to show you what I put in the quiche, and um, you're going to be surprised at some of the uh, ingredients. So if you're interested in that kind of a video, stay tuned, and I'm going to take you in the kitchen. Let's go. Okay, so here are the ingredients to the quiche that I made this, uh, today. I have the Jimmy Dean sausage that I chopped up in that pan right there. And then I had this um, combination of peppers, red and green, and onions. And I, fry, I cut them up because I got the long skinny ones, so I had to chop them up a little bit. So I chopped them up in the pan and I didn't put any butter or anything in with them because I wanted it to be kind of dry. And I have grated cheese that I grated myself and then I have of course wonderful eggs. The incredible edible egg. So I have eight of these and I just guessed at the amount that I put of these other things and I put a whole tube of Jimmy Dean sausage and of course some salt and some black pepper, and I did put some garlic powder. It's way in that little corner. So let me tell you about this. This is what I use for my crust. Okay, now granted, this is not the most healthy thing to use, but you use what you have. We're doing low carb. Uh, Nathan pretty much is doing no carb, but I talked him into this this morning. So um, this has got 12, grams of carb in a serving so that's not too too bad and i know the ingredients aren't the best in this but like i said you work with what you got so what i did is i put it in my pie crust uh my pie dish which is that um uh pretty pie dish i'll show you when we go out there again <coughs> and i just smushed it around and put it up the sides and stuff it's really easy to do with this croissant uh, dough. Uh, you just mush it around, push it around, and put it up the sides, and then um, put all your ingredients in, which I put in eight eggs. I put about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. I put salt and pepper, and I beat that up really good, and then I added the vegetables after I cooked them up on the pan a little bit and the uh, sausage, and then I put the cheese on top and um, put it in the oven f at 350 for about 40 minutes. That's how long it took to actually cook. And then it was, if it gets, if the um, crust gets a little brown, I just put a little foil over it to keep that from, um, do from burning or getting too brown. And then I left it in there for about 10 more minutes and boy, it puffed all up. It was really good. So let's go have a look at that. Okay, I kept this more uh, covered up just because I wanted to keep the moisture in it. But this is what it looks like. And you can see all the peppers and the sausage and the cheese in there and how the crust got a little bit brown, but it was so good. I have to tell you that it was so, so good. So normally, Nathan and I eat about two twice, twice a day. And um, I've been taking this berberine, and it's really helping with my cravings for sugar. I know this video is not a um, advertisement for berberine, but this is what it is. And I, it just doesn't want to focus there. But anyway, that's where I get the berberine. I get it from Melaleuca. And I take one a day. It's usually two a day, but I only take one. And it really has helped with my um, cravings for sugar. So what I'm doing today is um, another video on some meal planning. Uh, today, I'm not telling Nathan this because <laughs> he's watching me, but he's got his earphones on. So I'm going to make a Polish sauerkraut soup. Let me get the recipe and I'll show you. Okay. This is it. This is the all day long I dream about food recipe. 
So it's a pound of Polish sausage. Now I'm going to use the Jimmy Dean's sausage and it's a little bit spicy. I do have the link sausages, but I don't know if I'll use them or not. One cup of sauerkraut, which I have, one diced onion, um, and it says four to five red potatoes cut into half pieces, but or half inch pieces, but I'm gonna use the cauliflower. Um, one carrot diced, three cloves of garlic, mince, six cups of chicken broth, two tablespoons of olive oil, caraway seeds, cumin, salt and pepper to taste. I don't know if I'm gonna use the caraway seeds because I'm not a big caraway seed lover and I don't think Nathan is either. And I think there's some caraway seeds in the sauerkraut that I have. So you just saute the onion and the garlic in a Dutch oven or stock pot until soft. Add the broth, the cauliflower, the carrots, all the other things bring to a boil over medium heat. When it reaches a rolling boil, cover and reduce the heat to simmer for 20 minutes. Saute sausage to nice and brown, then add it to the pot. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me while I prepare this. So I hope that you're interested in this kind of a video, which I know most of you are. Um, I wanna talk a little bit too about um, not diet specifically, but just how I've changed things up a little bit. Um, like I said, I take the berberine. I take that in the morning. Um, we don't eat typically eat breakfast till about 10, maybe 10.30. We get up. We uh, The thing that I have added or done recently that's different is I drink one whole bottle of water before I have my coffee. And... Um, this is 16 fluid ounces and then I drink this kind of water. I like it. Uh, Nate calls it um, shards, but I like to have put it in the freezer for about 35, 45 minutes and it gets that nice and crunchy um, ice in it and I like that. So that's what I drink pretty much all day long. I try to get at least three or four bottles in a day, but if I do, then I have to, you know, I have to go to the bathroom all the time. But um, if I'm not going out, it's fine. So um, that's what I've added to or changed about my morning routine is that I drink my water before I have a cup of coffee. So um, that's helped keep me hydrated, you know, because coffee's a dehydrator. So anyway, um, okay, so uh, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some dinner. So uh, one of my subscribers asked about my plates and my dishes in my cabinet. So I thought I would take the time today to uh, show you them. And uh, here we go. Okay, so um, a lot of my kitchenware, um, or should I say my plates and cookware, um, are from the Pioneer Woman. This right here, I was given this from someone from Chris for Christmas, and I love this. I can bake in this and do anything. You can bake pies in it, you can bake uh, casseroles. Uh, Everything, anything you can bake in there. I love it. And then the plates that I think this person was referring to might be these. These also are Pioneer Woman. And I have red and blue. Aren't they pretty? I love those. There's three, four of the red ones and four of the blue ones. And you have to be very careful because they do um, chip. I have already chipped one. The other set of plates that I have are these. And I got these for the RV. No, I got these for when we moved here. And um, there's several different colors. There's yellow, there's green, there's red. And there's the purple one. And then I have these for when we had, when we were in the RV. But these were not practical in the RV, so. And there's also red, yellow, green, and blue um, of them. And then 
my pie plate, my pie plates, I should say, because I have two of them, um, are also, the one I have the quiche in is this one right here. And that's also Plan Your Woman. So there you have it. Any other questions about my dishes? Just let me know and I'll be glad to answer them. So, um, my husband is not really big on soups, but this is gonna be a thick, hearty soup. But just in case, I am going to do a deconstructed green bean casserole. Now, what I mean by deconstructed is I'm not gonna use um, my, um, mushroom soup. I'm gonna make my own thickener with heavy cream and cream cheese. And then I do have the onion rings that go on top of it. And they're pretty low, low carb, so. All right, so I'm gonna get started with these. And I'm going to cook them up in the uh, pan to get them softened. Because these are frozen and we're not big on frozen green beans, but we're gonna use them anyway, just because I have them. So I am bringing a little bit of water in the pot here to boil and I added some pink salt. I'm only gonna use half of these because I don't want leftovers and I don't want to have to store them. So I'm just gonna use half a bag here and put them in there. Because there's just the two of us, and well, maybe I'll make a little more because I don't have a, a pan small enough. All right, that's good. And then I'll just put these back in the freezer for another time. Okay. Okay, I just added some uh, Kerrygold butter to the pan here and I'm going to let that come to a boil and then I'm going to simmer them just for maybe five minutes because they'll cook in the oven too. Okay so I added some garlic to this and it is uh, boiling right now so I'm going to turn it way down so it just simmers and I'm going to let that just simmer for I don't know, maybe five minutes. And then I'm going to put it in this. I'm going to drain it and put it in this casserole pan right here. And then I'll make the roux to put over the green beans. And I do have some uh, mushrooms. I'm going to throw some of them on too. Okay, I drained the green beans and added them to this casserole along with the mushrooms down on the bottom. Um, what I'm going to do now is take you over here and I am going to put some butter in this pan again and I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to add some, oh, let's see. I think I'm going to add some cream cheese. I don't think I'm going to. I am definitely going to. Uh, let's see. I don't want a whole half of a container, though. So I think I'll take half of a half. And... Just squeeze that in there because we don't need a whole lot in this small container of green beans. I also am going to put in some heavy cream. Gonna put any garlic in there. I'm gonna get a spoon though and stir 
this up until the cream cheese has melted and this concoction has um, gotten a little bit thick and then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I don't know about you but when I'm cooking low carb I add pretty much cheese to pretty much everything and not a lot of it just enough to thicken it up a little this is getting um this is starting to thicken up what I'm gonna do is once I put it in the casserole dish I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese to it and then I'm gonna add the um, onion the onion uh, fried onions but I'm not going to add them until it's ready to go into the oven and these have three carbs in them no sugar just uh, three carbs per two tablespoons so that's not too bad I think this um, meal is probably going to be a total of less than 20 carbs I believe which that, uh, I'm trying to maintain a 50 or below um, carbs for, for me. And, um, yeah. So Nate just went out to get his medication. And uh, he had, he has uh, some pain in his foot which we're thinking it might be gout again, which hopefully it is not. See how nice and thick this is getting? And then uh, when we put it in the, in the uh, green bean, it's going to be a little thicker because I'm going to add that Parmesan cheese to it and it's going to uh, thicken it up nicely. I'm not doing a lot because there's not there's only two of us and like I said I don't like leftovers I don't mind eating leftovers but I can't get Nate to eat a whole lot of leftovers and so that's that's that okay so see it's getting nice and nice and thick just gonna stir this up a little more to get that cheese melted. I'm going to take you over here where the green beans are and turn that off and then just pour this. Now this is something that I have created myself. I don't know if this is something anybody else has done um, but I think it's going to be pretty darn good. Getting that all. And this will also soften up the green beans because Nate does not like um, the green beans that are um, frozen. He likes the canned green beans, which can't blame him too much there. Okay. That looks good. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some grated cheese. I'm going to shake this up because it gets lumpy. Just sprinkle on. It takes care of that lumpy stuff. I don't want too, too much. But I just wanted to cover it. And I'll probably only put it in the oven for 20 minutes just to combine everything and thicken it all up. So, then I'm just going to put on these. Just a handful. Or more. Maybe two. <laughs> there. That should take care of that. And I think I have enough butter and everything in there. So, 
I'll just leave that out on the counter until I'm ready to get it in the oven. We're gonna start next on the soup because he's out of he's out of the house now, so I can start on it, and he'll never know that there's sauerkraut in it. All right, be right back. Okay, so we've got the onions here. We've got carrots, and we've got our sausage. I'm gonna start that in the pan on the on the stove in a minute, and I have my chopper here. And this is gonna chop up the onions and the carrots. Okay, we got the sausage going in the pan here. Got my little trusty hampered chef chopper. I'm gonna let that go for a minute while we go over here and chop up the veggies. Okay, this garlic we don't need to chop up. I already cut up some onions before because they were growing um, they were growing um, tops to them so I figured it was time to chop them up and use what I could. All right that's how we do that. Put in there. And they have two um, different sizes of uh, chopper here. That bigger one, and then I think we have a little smaller one here somewhere. Oh no, that's the smaller one, and this is the bigger one, if you want bigger chop. Okay. We're gonna get a few more pieces in here. There, I'm gonna throw in some carrots in the same in the same uh, bucket. Put a bunch here because they're little. Okay, I finally did get them chopped through, but I'm only gonna do one at a time now because that seems to work better than a bunch of them. So what we got here. A little bit more. I'm still in cooking the get these in here. I love this little chopper though. This is the best. And it's you get it right on Walmart. I'm not Walmart, uh, Amazon. If you want one. Okay. I think that should be enough. Let's go over here and add it to the sausage. As soon as the sausage gets almost cooked. Make sure we get all the meat off this chopper thingy here. So, um, you know I talked about my friend Ruth Ann before, how she's in the hospital with uh, stomach cancer. She had surgery. Her wound was not healing well. They had to take her back to the hospital several times. And uh, the last time they took her back was yesterday. So she is having a real rough time. So if you guys are praying people, please pray for her. Her name is Ruth Ann, and she's my dearest and best friend. We've known each other for almost 40 years, and uh, it's very sad what's happening with her. So please uh, pray for her if you would, and I thank you. Okay. Get these in there. Go 
get the recipe. I forgot to bring it out with me. <laughs> okay. Get all this in here. Can't waste a bit. All right, I'm going to go get the recipe. I'll be right back. Just added um, a big tea tablespoonful of garlic. And now I'm going to add this chicken broth. It says six cups. So I'm just going to add this uh, container, 32 ounces. I think that's going to be plenty. Because we want this thick. We don't want it thin like soup. But this is going to cook, cook down also. Okay. The secret ingredient is this. delicious and I will put the recipe down below in the description box for you so you can make this if you want I gotta see what um, what uh, herbs and spices I need to put in here too going to be a good cup right there. I gotta look at the recipe again. Okay. This is a quarter and there's a half. I'm just gonna open this up. Dip it in here. Throw it in. Okay. And I'm not gonna do caraway seeds. I'm gonna salt, pepper. That's the pink salt I use. And I'm going to have a some new. Yeah. And I'm going to fill that up. Okay, let's see. What Ready to a boil over medium heat. Okay. I'm just going to let that simmer for a minute until the cauliflower is done and that is it that's so easy so simple one pot so simple all right all right as soon as this comes to a boil and that is ready I'll be back okay I got the cauliflower here I'm gonna add it in to the soup. I drained it so that it wouldn't be uh, adding too much liquid to the soup. All right, now as soon as that comes to a rolling boil, we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. All right, see you in a bit. See you in 45. 
Okay, so it's been cooking here for about 25 minutes. Ooh, and it's so thick. Really, really thick. Can you see it bubbling? You can. I think I want to take a little taste. Turn it down some more. Oh wow. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. It's very savory. And it's got a little bit of a Mmm, I don't know, t a tang to it. Yeah, that's it, a tang. All right, I'm going to let this continue cooking for a little bit. I'm going to turn the oven on and put the uh, green bean casserole in there for about 20 minutes, and then dinner is ready. Okay, so I think that the soup is definitely done. And it looks like our green beans are done too. Look at that. I'm gonna turn off the oven and we're gonna see how the mister likes the soup. So bear with us in a minute. We'll get that, we'll get that tested. Here it is all plated up. There's the green bean casserole and there is the Polish cabbage uh, sausage soup. Requested some Parmesan cheese, so I'm going to put some of that on here for him. And we're going to take it in the other room and see what he thinks. Here is the truth. Yeah, it's very hot. I burned my tongue on it earlier. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, that's really good. Is it? Mm hmm. Good. Now try a little of the green bean casserole, is not that hot. Okay. But it's hot because the, the uh, onions got nice and brown. Okay, let's get this going here. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. I know it's not your Thanksgiving th um, green bean casserole, but it's um, a keto version. It's very good. Good. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that video of the cooking and the plates and whatever else I had in it. I'm so long now, I forgot. But, um, if you're new to my channel, again, I welcome you. Thank you for stopping by and uh, spending some time with me. And to my tried and trues, I feel the same for you. Thank you so much. You all are very special to me. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a, a big thumbs up. And don't forget, most of all, most importantly, be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there. I'll see you all in my next video.